is Andy with HD Design and Printing. I am working here in Illustrator today, and this is a quick uh, catching up a little bit here with this illustration of the Chicago skyline, which is from Northerly Island. And there's a few um, pieces here that I, th I think need a little more work. Um, obviously, the whole thing is is uh, pretty loose and sketchy, but I'm just going to stick with that feeling for this for this piece. Um, so, right here, those represent sailboats. This is a harbor. Um, so I'm trying to go from this this big mustard foreground, which I, I think could use a little work, through the middle ground with a few trees here, into this harbor with a few boats and then going back to what actually this is the soldier field and then the skyline is just all one element with the sky behind and I do have a fade in the sky from this direction over so um, this this right here doesn't look good to me and maybe a little work here this white in here and then this uh, mustard area so I'm gonna try to take care of those right now and what I'm going to do is get back to my regular view. So for this area right here, I think we can solve this by bringing this forward, but behind this tree right here which this locks in the foreground and uh, but I do want this to be above that so taking our brush we can probably just put in some more here and wrap this around and then I'll give that a different tone Then of course we have the issue where this mustard foreground here intersects with this, and I think this should come to the front like that, and then bring that to the front. So let's see how that looks. Oops, not bad, not bad. Um, I think one more. We could probably put one more element back here, which could be either trees or buildings, depending on the color we make it. There we go. And we will make that... Let's try black. Okay. Whoops. So again, just putting those in, we get a little bit more building in the middle ground there. Now we've lost a bunch of stuff that we had with that was here in the foreground. That's back now. A lot of this stuff I'm doing is just sending stuff, uh, bringing bringing elements forward and sending them back. All right. Um, now the last thing I want to try right now is to get this gradient a little bit better. In fact, it's not a gradient at all right now. There it is. Um, so I think I want to stick with this mustard color. And the other element I'm going to push to a green. And that certainly changes things a bit. This is a late summer uh, tone so I think a little bit of yellow doesn't hurt and I kind of like the direction that is right there so well we will just sit with that for a while and see how that works um, these trees I can add a little variety to I like them nice and dark though because in the foreground they're they're pretty solid right there right there in the foreground so again this area back here I think we could use a little some trees back there on the other end of that harbor. So I'm going to grab the brush and just sort of, this will be hidden 
and then boom go in with some trees right there and again sending that backward and bringing forward with keystrokes there's certain shortcuts for that too far there we go and I think that's too dark something like that and maybe even pushing that up and then I want to bring this forward too and I'm going to save that so not so bad I think we made some good progress thanks for checking out my video and I'm going to try to do some more of these quick sketches to keep my skills up and to hopefully share a little bit of knowledge about my illustration technique. Thanks again, and see you next time.